<laughs> Why, hello there everyone, I'm the Kumo Sensei, and today we're talking about Goblin Slayer. Oh my goodness, it's been a while since I last talked about Goblin Slayer, but Goblin Slayer Season 2 is more specifically, and man oh man, there is a new trailer and a new anime studio working on it. So the animation style is actually a little bit different, but without further ado guys, let us check this out, let us react, and let us break this down. So without further ado, let's go. So, here we go. Goblin Slayer Season 2 TV Anime continues their adventure in 2023 at Lighten Films. So for those who don't know, Lighten Films actually made Tokyo Revengers, I believe. So yeah, let us see how this goes, everyone. A new teaser trailer has been released revealing new staff members. This article is written by Daryl Harding, so there goes credit, where credit is due, and let us check this out. It has been confirmed that the Goblin Slayer and his merry party continue their story this year with the second season of the TV anime series, dubbed Goblin Slayer 2. Premiering in 2023, a new teaser trailer was released to coincide with the news that the announces Lighten Films will be taking over from White Fox as the production house with some new staff members. I'm not gonna lie, this seems a bit worrisome, but I really would like to see the trailer. So, here's the trailer. So without further ado, let me get my headphones on and let us watch this together. Alright everyone, I got the headphones on. So, let us watch this together. Alright. I'm not saving the world. I'm just killing goblins. So they, so they're going with a more 2D look, I'm guessing. It doesn't look too, too bad. Okay. I, I do see a little bit of difference, but it's not too bad. I think it's passable, but hey, that's just me though. I just want to know how they're going to... Hmm. I have a lot of curiosities going on here, to be honest. You just hear this rock music and all these blood and goblins and whatnot. I don't know. I... Something about this doesn't go as hard. It just ends here. Okay, so now they're announced the new cast and the staff. Is it just me, or does Goblin Slayer doesn't feel as heavy, like, in this trailer? Because I remember, like, during the first trailer for the first uh, season uh, for, from uh, Studio White Fox, like, it has such a heavy feeling to it. This doesn't give me that vibe. I don't know, especially this scene here. Like, it doesn't go as hard. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's Lighting Films, you know, animation style. I don't know. But I do hope they do capture that. I don't want to say the edginess, but it had, it had like a Dark Souls feel to it. This doesn't really have that. It has more of a lighter tone to it. I'm not saying it's bad, though, because, hey, I'll take, I'll take Season 2 anytime because it's been a while, to be honest. I'm surprised Studio White Fox gave up on Goblin Slayer and gave it to Lighting Films. Because Studio White Fox is a very reputable, uh, what you call it, anime studio. They're known for Steins Gate, ReZero, and some some really good stuff, I tell you what. But yeah, to see them pass on to Lightning Films is a very interesting take. And I wonder what you guys will think. Leave it down below, guys. I'd like to hear what you think about this new anime studio, like doing Goblin Slayer. Because Season 2, I wonder if they're going to capture the same atmosphere as the first season. Maybe, maybe not. But without further ado, guys... Let's get straight back into it, and let us finish this, guys. So, I got the headphones off, and let us continue. Misato Takada, Sayuki Rilo Zeroin will be taking over directorial duties from Takaharu Ozaki, who has been promoted to chief director. Hideyuki Kurata returns to write the series composition with Kenichiro Suihiro also returning to write the music. Hiromi Kato, Irina the Vampire Kazunata will be taking over character design duties from Takashi Nakayoshi. The first season of Goblin Slayer TV anime is also available to watch on Crunchyroll, as well as the anime film Goblin Slayer Goblin's Crown. Crunchyroll describes the series as such. I'm not saving the world, I just kill goblins. Rumor has it that in a certain guild in the middle of nowhere, there is an extraordinary man who has climbed all the way to the silver rank just by killing goblins. At the same guild, a priestess who's just become a new adventurer has formed her first party. And the man who ends up rescuing that party when they get into trouble is none other than the Goblin Slayer. So, the article pretty much ends here. 
But yeah, guys, season two, new trailer that's coming out this year in 2023. That's crazy, guys. A new anime studio, Lightning Films. They did good with Tokyo Revengers, I tell you what. But I want to see how they interpret Goblin Slayer season two. Guys, I need to know what you guys think because this is such a huge, drastic change in terms of anime studios. Do you think the direction is going to be different or whatnot? Tell me what you think down below. And with that, guys, I'm the Kumo Sensei. I upload every single day. I upload random things daily. And uh, yeah, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and stay updated to this amazing content that I upload here on the channel. And also, stop by whenever I live stream. I live stream here on the channel. Anytime between 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. United States Eastern Time. And with that, that's really about it. See ya.